Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. What you see here is my Paramac G3. Now, I am going to be modernizing it a little bit. As you saw in my other video, I swapped out the CD drive for a DVD burner. So what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to install this PCI graphics card. Uh, th the one the onboard one works, but I just want to upgrade a little bit. Now, as you can see right here, this is for video editing. I am not going to use the computer for this, but I am going to take this out because on a modern machine, you will not be using this. So, to get started, I am going to uninstall this. this video editing card here. There we go. This is the editing card that you see that's in there. So now this is out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a third party sound card as well, because that had the sound card stuff to it. So what I'm going to do, is take these radiation shield caps here which is what this is. Ah, it actually works. What do you know? Oh no, that's not going to work. Anyway. I have to take it out anyway, so. There we go. Fits in like a glove because this is PCI as well. There we go. All right, so if I go over here, this is a PCI sound card. You've seen this in my earlier videos. It's gonna be a close fit, but it will fit. There we go. It's gonna be a really tight fit, but that's okay. I'll just, I'm going to move the USB card down. There 
Go. There we go. Just took a little finessing. There we go. We'll put the sound card up on the top one where you see my hand. go everything's right where it needs to be all right so it's all modernized up so now I'm going to close it sure all the cards are in properly and they are so just like a hood of your car close that all right so there we go so if I turn this around here I turn this up you can see all the new peripheral the P, that peripheral, PCI adding cards. Sound card, video card, USB. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this around. We're going to hook it up. Not gonna hook up the sound because I don't need that. Okay, so turn this on. All right, so everything's. Oops. Yeah, that's not going to work. There we go. Make sure. Okay. So now, I am going to power this on, and it should accept the card All right.
So it powered on, but it doesn't want to do anything. So let's figure out why it doesn't want to do anything. So kill the power. Let's uninstall this card. So it does need that to boot. That's pretty interesting. Now, this is a sound card. The f this is the factory sound card. What I realized is that this is OEM specifically for this machine. Now, since I took it out, it's not going to do anything because it's actually trying to find it. So you have these ports right here which is you could hook up a zip drive through it if you wanted to you have aux ports and then you have this so without this that's why you're getting the black screen even though I have it plugged into the graphics card so cut the power So I'm reinstalling the card here. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to put that screw back in, in case I find an alternative upgrade there. So I'm going to remove this card. I'm going to remove the sound card as you see me doing here. There we go. I'm going to leave these two out. So when I do get it all fixed up, I'll put something else in there. Okay. So now I'm going to hook it back up. And that's what makes it do the bong sound. There we go. So what this is, is it sees it as a circuit. Now on a normal PC, which this is not, I could take it and just update it and it would be fine. 
But since it's not that, I need to have this card in there. So now what I want to try, let's see what happens when I hook up a PCI graphics card here without removing that. It will not do anything. Okay. Here's why it won't do anything. This is OEM specific. Meaning, I have to use Apple add-in parts if I want this to work. So eventually I'll do that, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, anyway, that's it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.